today we're at uh, Target Sports in uh, Stillville, and we're uh, training Lisa Marcos for the listener. Hi, Lisa. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm James Bremner, uh, president of Bremner Associates Inc. We are uh, trainers for law enforcement, security providers, and the film industry. Uh, we've worked on X Men, uh, Bulletproof Monk, um, uh, Jason X. Just when you know. Something here, a little study package that you can look at and Perfect. refer to. Uh, in here, you're, um, as I understand, you're playing a police officer. Correct. This is the ten fatal errors, and these these are kind of drilled into a police college, and uh, it kind of helps you with the mindset. Well, I failed already at number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's a part of the job, but, but I failed. Uh, that's it. Number three is not enough rest, by the way. Yeah. See how good my aim is. Women are generally better shots than men. In fact, they're always better shots than men. It's, and part of the reason has to do with uh, guys have a lot to prove. Women listen, they pay attention. <laughs> and Lisa did a good job. That's for my co star who said I would be a good shooter. Who's your best friend? Craig. <laughs> you see that, Craig? Don't mess with me. <laughs> it was my first time shooting again. We played around a little bit on set just with positionings and stuff, uh, but we've never actually fired anything. It hasn't been reason to yet. So uh, we want to get the practice in, so when I actually do start with it, that it becomes, you know, natural and something that's easy as opposed to struggling. Oh, no, I was excited. Oh, no, no, I asked uh, producers, uh, when can I speed it up? Because to me, I found it odd the first time I picked up a fake gun. Because it just, it was the first time holding a gun, so I found everything just not natural, like the way I was holding it in the position. So I really wanted someone to kind of help me with that, and now it just feels, I, I think every time you pick it up, it becomes more natural. Uh, ooh, it was uh, like a rush that goes right through you. Uh, uh, the reason why I asked for him to come first was because I, I didn't want to be shocked by the sound, you know, for the first time holding it. So once I got how loud it actually really is, and then I became comfortable with it, and it, it's just like a like an energy, almost like a roller coaster rush going through your body the very first, and then you want more and more. It's like a, an addiction or something, right? Yeah. So we were just discussing this, and I missed a very important part. So Jim is going to describe it. There you go. Well, when we, we look at a target, sometimes shooters get discouraged, uh, you know, seven, eights, and nines, and that type of thing. But when you uh, put it over a silhouette, you can see that they're all good hits. So very good job, Lisa. Yeah, thank you. See that? 